Hello. Welcome back to day two of our new game, Outer Wilds. Get this headband on, nice and situated. Um, get this all good. Uh, I'm I'm growing my Pikmin right now. They're doing great. Everything's good. Hopefully by the end of today, by the end of today's stream, I'll have a I'll have a purple Pikmin. So that's pretty exciting. Karen has now asked me to carry her phone in my pockets while I uh, bike and stream, so that way she gets the same amount of steps as I do. So, it's not cheating. Karen has walked in to say it is not cheating. <laughs> Karen says it here. You can say it. To the... It's not cheating. No. It's totally normal. Totally fine. Yeah. Bye. Um, but yeah, we're getting real into Pikmin now. Absolutely. Ripping it up. Let's get back into Outer Wilds, shall we? I'm excited to learn more about this game. Uh, yesterday we had to pause midway through a loop so I think it just kicked us back out to the beginning again so now we're just back at this point let me see is there anything so something I haven't done still I still need to go explore maybe I'll just go do the moon the moon runes Oh, come on, controller. Come on, you're connected via Bluetooth. This shouldn't happen. Here you go. All right. There's no reason for you to have this disconnecting issue again. Um, suit on up. Health and fuel full. All right, let's take a look at this ship log. Wow, okay. Lots of things. Lots of things that I have discovered last time, in, in the last bit. Um, what does this say? Dark Bramble crashed here and has already taken root. Uh, Alright. Tectate wants to use a scout launcher to get a look at what's inside. Alright. Cool. But here's what I want to check out, is that there's uh, Lunar Ruins on Addle Rock. Okay. Let's go do that first. That seems like it's useful to me. I'm ready to go give that a try. Uh, here's something I was thinking about. In terms of high intensity bikings, we've got, um, we, we obviously will die a lot in this game. So I think every time I loop, that makes sense for me. Um, Every time I loop, I'm going to have to do a high-intensity biking. How about every time I do a, uh, a bad, a bad landing? Will that be a high-intensity biking? Or will I end up just high-intensity biking all the gosh dang time? If that's the, uh, the situation, you know? Like, if I, if I end up high-intensity biking just constantly... That's not going to be fun for me. But also, I do want a high-intensity bike, obviously. That's that's an important part. Ooh, hello, what is this? Are those the ruins, or... Or is that just something else? Well, might as well touch down and figure it out, shall we? Get me into landing mode, please. Okay. I'd say this was a pretty good landing, all things considered, you know? I think that one worked pretty well. 
pretty happy about that. All right, what is this place? What is this place all about? Oh, hello. What's this? Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the comp composition of the samples I took from the impact site match the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I'd posit the outer rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. Hmm. Hmm, that's, that's curious. That is certainly curious. All right. I guess I could go explore like this. Oh no, I've once again gone into orbit. I didn't mean to. I wanna go explore. Is this the ruins? No. Was this the ruins? No. I guess it would be maybe smarter for me to just go back into my little, my, uh, my little lunar module than just be running around the moon, but, you know, I haven't, I haven't even died via loop yet. There's a part of me that wants to know what that is. Here we go. This has got to be the ruins. Yeah, this has got to be him. Hello. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Y'all just keep moving around like this now? Is that what's happening? Huh. What's that? What's that big blue thing in the middle of the... Hmm. Maybe I should go check that out. All right, come on back here. Let's see what happens if I put you in a different zone. Now what's going on? Oh, hello. That goes right to the sun, huh? Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, there's a thing. There's a secret. Hello. Coleus, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and I can hear and follow de the signals from the sun, giant, steep, and brittle hollow. Oh wow! Wait, no, I want to. I want to read that whole scroll, please. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Okay, so that's what I did before. I see. It's most likely calibrated to the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disproport disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe the locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Hmm, that seems important. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kasava. Uh, our search for the eye is what brought us our clan to the play to this place. We won't give up so easily. Hmm. Okay. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. Weird. All right. So if I take this scroll, what if I put it in here? Oh, is this just the same thing? All right. Ooh, an another scroll. Let's read this one. Untranslated. Okay. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may be need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Uh, Anona and those of the original standard on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. Hmm. All right. This is confusing for me right now, but I'm learning. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. Okay, we could go check that out. 
Okay. All right. Okay. So I can go to Brittle Hollow's South Pole. That seems useful. What's this all about? Okay, wow. Wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's uh, really old, isn't it? But wow. This is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of know my locator. It can point out these different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly over there to see if I can learn more. I'm just gonna get back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. No stars above. Alright. Hmm. Well, there's nothing else for me in here. So I guess I do want to just go over to Brittle Hollow. I guess that makes the most sense. I'm cool with that. All right, we're about 15 minutes in and I haven't died yet. So let's do a high intensity biking, shall we? Dude, is this Brittle Hollow maybe? Let's see. Or is that the, the other place? Banjo man's over there. All right, well, let's go back to my ship. Uh-oh. Going into orbit again. <laughs> this is fun. This is a fun thing that I'm doing. Nope, nope, nope. Bring me straight down. Up. Oh, no, bring me straight up. <laughs> no, 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 no. I gotta get back into orbit. I gotta get back into orbit, please. Please, 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 please. Nope, not that far into orbit. Okay, we survived. Everything's great. Perfect. Perfect landing. No problems whatsoever. <laughs> Everything was great that time around, huh? I haven't even looked at this spot. What does this even do? Alright, let's high intensity biking while I figure out where I'm going next. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, so. Headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something in Nomai. We're doing at the South Pole. Cool. Yes. South Pole. Got it. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and then there's this whole section, which I haven't even found for odd reason. I just was kind of wandering around. Yep, got it. Got it. Yes, I gotta explore more in the Sunless City, but let's go to Brittle Hollow. That seems fun. Let's go to, or rather... Yeah, I guess Brittle Hollow is the one. Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Back to the game, shall we? All right. Okay. Buckle me up, baby. I'm ready to go. I don't actually know where this place is, so. That's the Ember Twin. Timber Hearth. Giant's Deep. Giant's Deep sounds very scary to me. Brittle Hollow? Dark Bramble. Oh. Ash Twin. Battle Rock. Where is, where is Brittle Hollow? Thank you, uh, uh, non-binary niffer for resubbing. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's still Ash Twin. Where? There's the interloper. Okay. Dark Bramble. Hmm. 
Is Brittle Hollow just behind the sun? Is that what's going on right now? Hollow's lantern, so is this Brittle Hollow? There we go. That's the spot, baby. That's where I'm trying to go. Come on, get me in there. I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the right spot where I need to be. All right, okay. You there. Trying to match your velocity so I can get right up to you. It's surprisingly difficult to do. All right. I'm coming in. Let's go find your south pole. I'm ready. Oh, I'm coming in potentially way too hot. In fact, I would say extremely way too hot. Okay, all right, Brittle Hollow, yes. Good. Yes, good and great. Is this the place where they built? Seems like it might be. Nope, nope. Oh, that was a crash landing, wasn't it? That was a pretty bad landing. I landed right on a tree. I landed right on a friggin' tree. Okay. Well, if that's a crash landing, I guess that's... Oh, no ship damage. Okay, if ship damage, then I definitely do have to do high-intensity bikings. Ship damage means high-intensity biking. No doubt. That's what, that's what I think. Wait, you know what? I need to, um, I just realized I should refuel before I get up in here. There we go. Now I'm in business. Okay, so, South Pole, directly this way. Though this looks important, too. This seems also important. But I guess I'll just go, I'll go to the South Pole first. And we'll hope for the best. Because that's the only place that I know for sure. Oh boy. Oh, oh fun. Really launching over this moment. Okay, phew. We did it. Oh, okay. Alright, this has got to be it. This has got to be it, for sure. Uh-oh. That seems unpleasant. All right, if I, ha had I seen this, I definitely would have been like, oh, that's probably the, sp the spot, isn't it? <sighs> I probably would have come and, and landed right over here as opposed to wandering all over the place. Whoa, wait, is that somebody else's ship? Whoa. Okay. All right, that's good to know. I'm here, I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, And that the ship went down and it did sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my best attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me a bit. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door's broken and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I would have found a different entrance by now if only if there were one, probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm gonna head north on the ruins to on the equator and try to find a way down. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Alright. Okay, so north. We're going to the ruins on the equator. I can do that. Is that basically where my ship was? Was that the place that I was like, ooh, that seems important? <laughs> Cause that seems like maybe I did the right thing the first time and then wasted a bunch of time coming down here. But you know, who am I to judge? Yeah! Nice. Yeah, those are the, those are definitely the ruins. Oh. All right. 
Jumpo! Whew. Okay, good, 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 good. We're doing great. Alrighty. Hello. <sighs> Hollow projection stone. Can I put it in here? No, that, that doesn't help very much. That's not what I'm supposed to do with this. Yes, hello. Oh, wow. Huh. Hmm. Huh, hmm, huh, hmm. Okay. Cool. Oh, do I need another stone? Oh, yeah, mama mia, look at these bones. Not a fan of them bones. Can't even sneak past there. All right, what's over here? What's in this place? Whoa, hi. Okay, so that just launches me back up, I guess. Thank you, Ryan Sonura. I don't know, maybe I should just do more more timed ones, because I'm, I'm not dying that much, it appears. It appears to me that I am not dying all that much. I say that, of course, as soon as I do, that means that I probably will die a whole bunch. How about... Thank you, uh, JTL Roy. I could, um, I could do some more high intensity bikings on the 15s, maybe? Maybe that makes sense? Feels like that could be helpful? Southern Observatory. South. Okay, so this is where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go to the observatory. In the south. I think. What's this? Oh my god. No, I want to go down, I think. No. Ooh, that's a great noise for me. Hello. Okay, it's working. <laughs> We're doing it. We're really doing it. I guess I want to go this way. Nope. Nope. Shoot. Okay, all right. I figured it out. Uh... Yeah, we'll do it on the 15s. 15s plus whatever else I do. I think that seems right. Maybe. I have n almost no fuel left. That is not great for... Ooh, hi. Not really good for me. All things considered. <sighs> Maybe I was supposed to come over here, huh? I haven't even been turning on my flashlight this entire time. <sighs> All right. Feels like this um this whole planet has broken apart too much for me to be able to do anything here. <laughs> Just looking at this seems kind of like maybe I'm in I can't do anything here anymore. <laughs> it's not great. It's not great, all things considered. Okay. 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 Hmm. I don't even know how to get back up from here, to be perfectly honest. Like, I kind of, I feel like I'm in a bind. I feel like I'm in a little bit of a bind right now. Oh my my. Oh my my. What if I just try to do this? This is gonna end extremely poorly for me, I think. Unless I can catch this wave. Oh! Alrighty! <laughs> hey, how about that? Woo! How about that? It all worked out in the end. <laughs> oh, you launched! That's great! Great job, you! 
Wow, I guess that means I've been out here for a while, huh? Well, uh, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard about the others, heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody I'm out here. Do you know, do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell, I tripped over a gra gravity crystal. It's dumb luck, I somehow, I landed somewhere. My little scout says it's halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just gonna stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be a, uh, yeah. I learned something. Uh, you mean there's another nomad in city inside of Ember Twin? That's incredible, a whole city I had no idea it existed. This is great. How do they keep the sand out? If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by that awful river of sand. Gosh, the Nomai sure were ingenious, building an entire settlement underground. The Sunless City, wow. That means there are two groups of Nomai, the one that lived on Ember Twin and the one that lived here on Brittle Hollow. But they must have traveled around the solar system since Nomai riding could be found on other planets too. Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate because the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City, just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. I can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried. But if it's the rest of, the, but if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it under the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. If you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it if it's not too much trouble. All right, just tell me what you're doing. You're an archaeologist. You gotta go find some cool stuff. Yes. All right, friend. Goodbye. Thanks for, thanks for refueling me, by the way. Extremely necessary. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, well, I do want to go to the south. Personally, I really do. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Okay. Yeah, baby. All right. That was pretty good. I feel like this um, planet has is really breaking a lot. In fact, I don't even know where my ship is anymore. My ship is 28 kilometers outside. Oh boy. Oh boy. I gotta go through the black hole, I guess. <laughs> In order to get to my ship. Yeah, just just send me on through, please. There you are. There's my ship. Oh boy. This sure ain't great. I got to be honest with you. Okay. Hey ship. Hey sh hey ship. Hey, can you not go that way? Please. No, don't go into that one, please. Okay, yep, all right, good. Can I enter the ship from space is a question I have now. I don't actually know. Yeah, I would say I understand why you're breaking a lot, to be perfectly honest. Oh, my lord. Yeah, things, um... Things seem to be pretty bad, huh? Uh-oh. Star, star's getting real red hot, huh? Star's getting real spicy hot nowadays. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, shoot. Dang it.
Oh boy. I'm just coming back to Timber Hearth. Uh oh. Wait, no. No, 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 no. Come back. Come back here. Oh my lord. My autopilot's damaged. I can't even do any, like, match. I can't even match velocity. This is terrible. Oh, this is gonna be- this is gonna be a crash landing. Also, I should have done a high-intensity biking a long time ago. No, no, no! There we go. Hey, come on. Come on, Timberhearth. I just want to land on you. Just before I, we get sucked into the sun, I'd like to land on you. No! <laughs> yep, that was pretty good. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, boy. Oh, mama mia. What's up with this geyser? Oh no. Oh boy. Oh my. Oh boy. Thank you, Demi Lardner, for raiding. I'm about to die in a big solar event. Oh. Well, how about that? Well, shoot! Whew. Thank you, <laughs> well-spoken rambler. Man, this is, um... Ah, ooh! Wowee! Nice, I guess, to finally die the way it was intended. Okay! Let's do a high-intensity biking! Three, two, one! Ooh, okay. Hey, what's up? Um. All right, I just gotta go. I just gotta friggin' go. I, I ain't got time for this. I gotta go. I got places to be. I gotta go to space. Don't you understand? I gotta go to space. All right. Interesting. Okay. All right. From underneath. Okay. Thank you to me 200. Thank you, Miss Kate Flower. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to Brittle Hollow. Going to Brittle Hollow. Okay, I'm just trying to find where the Brittle Hollow is. There you are. I'm locking on. All right, where is it? I've locked on, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, mama mia. That's the Addle Rock. There's the Brittle Hollow, right? There you are. I found you. I found you. Get me around this. All right, okay. If I go here first, then I'll have more time to explore. That's my opinion on the matter. Woo! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's bad. Hmm, yes, that's, um, hmm, that's bad. Hmm, that's, that seems bad to me. Oh, boy. That seems real bad. 
That seems like I can't get back, come back from that one, huh? <laughs> seems like that one's broken for good. <laughs> seems like, um, seems like I'm not getting back in that ship, huh? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Oh, fun. Okay, let's go do something immediately. <laughs> Whew, all right. Yeah, I'm just gonna float up here for a second. What about these ruins? Maybe these got some secrets for me. <laughs> kinda, kinda feel like I'll be spending the entirety of my time on this loop, on this here planet. But that's okay, I feel like that's gonna be a good position, uh, that's gonna, that's gonna work out good for me, you know? Okay. It's a big, deep place. Come on back here. Neat. All right, you got some you got some truths to tell me? Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Okay. Yeah, I, I would like to go to this place. Oh, I have to do my high-intensity biking. No, did, I already did it. Or was that the first high-intensity biking? Did I forget to do my high-intensity biking for crashing really bad? Yeah, I didn't do it. So I gotta do one now, don't I? Oh, I did it. Okay, I did it already. I just totally blanked. Oh, boy. Hello. Below, the Southern Observatory is south, yes. I want, I want to go to the Southern Observatory. You understand. I would like to go to there. Okay. Is this right? Okay, so these come back to me now. I don't know. I guess I launch this way? Is that right? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Oh, mama mia. Oh, mama mia. That's, that's a spicy meatball. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Hmm. All right. Fine. Good. I'm trying to head south more, so that seems good. Hmm. I guess this way will help. Cool. Really making waves here. Uh-oh, that seemed really close to me. That seemed like a thing that happened super close to me. Okay, okay, come on. This has got to be the entrance, right? I'm so close to it, right? This has got to be the entrance. It's like almost above me. What? No, what? No. No, what? No. <laughs> oh, now I'm, now I'm really, oh boy, now I'm really in it. Oh, I'm really in it now, folks. Oh, I'm really in it now, folks! Ooh, come on, come on. Come on, fuel. Get me out of here. Get me up to this place, please. No, I just keep bonking. <laughs> oh. Oh, I think I'm stranded out here, huh? Kind of feel like I'm stranded in this position now. Feel like I'm gonna run out of fuel almost immediately. Oh boy. Okay, come on. Let's just let's just land on the interloper, maybe. Maybe that'll make me feel better. 
Maybe there's some fuel over there for me? <laughs> maybe, please? Hey, please, maybe, though? Hey, but please, maybe? Nope, match velocity, please. Hey, match velocity, please. Yeah, I know fuel level is critical. I'm very aware of that. I'm extremely aware of the fact that my fuel is critical. <sighs> Come on. I'm trying to match your velocity and I just can't do it. Oh, I'm donezo. I'm donezo for real. Here I go into the void of space. <laughs> Using oxygen as propellant? Uh, mm, I don't know about that. Yes, okay. Okay, come on, please. Please tell me there's oxygen on this play planet. I'm just getting there real, real slowly. <sighs> oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Come on. Yes, 60 seconds oxygen remaining. That's what I love to hear. Yeah, I'm not coming back from this one. I'm donezo. Here I go dying again. <laughs> Let's do another high intensity biking. Shall we? Three, two, one. Thank you, Moth Eaten Cloth. Oh, everything's fine. That's what I meant to do. All right, so uh, did I learn anything in Brittle Hollow? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I did. I guess I should go back though. I guess I should try again. I think that makes the most sense. <sighs> okay. All right, come on. I gotta go fast. I gotta go so fast. Get me up there, baby. Lock on. No! <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. That's not how autopilot should work. That's not how an autopilot should work. If I click autopilot and you launch me directly into the planet I just flew away from? That's not what I wanted you to do. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Oh boy. Yeah, this is, this is not great. Okay. Fun. Yeah, that's where I want to go check out, right there. I want to go f figure out this little thing right here. No! Slower. Please. <sighs> oh, I gotta go back to not flame mode. That's on me. That's on me for sure. Okay. Hmm. Good. Good and fine. Hello. I hope I can repair you well enough. Perfect. Everything's great now. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Alright, now let's go check this thing out. Woo, hello. Okay, hmm, yeah, I want to go to that. Hey, what's this all about? Oh. S distress beacon. That's weird. Is that everyone unharmed? 
No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod two or three? No, I, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear other two escape pods distress signals. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again! Everyone brace yourself swiftly! The volcanic moon has returned! Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. We. Uh, this planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone lo for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down from this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Okay. Is this it? Okay. We're doing all right. Hello. What? No. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? Okay. Oh boy. All right, so they they had a big old crash landing, a big old crash landing. Whoa! I wanted to read that actually. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need some water. Oh shoot. Ah oh, dang dang. Thank you, Nameless King, for subscribing again. This game is very good. This is a good game. Alright. I'm walking down. I'm just I'm following in their footsteps right now. Black hole seeps below. You must not slip. Yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> believe me. I am aware of the fact that I shouldn't be slipping on this planet. I'm extremely aware of this. No, 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 no! How dare you? How dare you? Okay. Still walking. Still, still doing great. Still exploring more of this place and not falling into the black hole. Be sure not to wander far from here. This area is somewhat unstable. It's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Okay. Okay, all right. Oh, hello, that's a cool thing. That seems important to me. I would like to look at this. The knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal is older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. I don't know my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can, the universe, how can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round, with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. <sighs> okay. So that's the thing. That's what we're going for. That's what we're looking for. We're trying to find the eye of the universe. Got it. Got it. Or at least that's what the Nomai were looking for. Whew. I guess I should do another high-intensity biking. I've just realized I've passed 45, but that was kind of because I was already doing a high intensity. Well, we'll do it anyway. It's important to high intensity bike. Three, two, one. Bingo! Whew. Okay. Doing well. Okay. I have no idea if I've been to this place before or not. Oh my my. Oh my oh my. Give me some oxygen. I need it. This seems important. I haven't seen this yet. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh you tricksters. Okay, so the other places that it went to, the escape pod in the Bramble. So the main ship is in the Bramble, and then one came here, and then one went to Ember Twin, and then one got stuck in the Bramble. That's what I'm, that's what I'm taking from here. 
That's what I'm getting from this. Okay. All right, that sounds good. That's good to know. Whew. Okay, so a lot of these things lead directly to here. So this seems like a very important place. There we go. Let's read some stuff. Why did the vessel crash in the first place? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It didn't. It wasn't where we tried to go. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, they were all fine. Uh, but with our destination, I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod Three. Hmm. Yeah, that seems pretty bad. Seems pretty bad to me. Gotta, gotta be straight with y'all. That seems pretty bad. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Where should I go from here? Guess that's the question of the day. That's the question of this whole game, isn't it? The pain of your absence is sharp and haunting. I would give anything not to know it. Anything but never knowing you at all. Which would be worse. I can only hope you are safe, Keek, wherever you are. Wow, that's rough. That's rough. Aw, oh, dude, that's rough. Oh, shoot, that's rough. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Oh no, am I getting close to the ding dang sun exploding again? Oh, but I've been doing so well this time. I've been doing so good. Whew. All right. Thank you, well-spoken rambler. Ah. Yeah, it is pretty impressive. Clayton made a really good video about bluegrass in sci-fi, and everyone should watch it. It's one of my favorite videos. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, Mamma Mia! I've seen everything in here. I think I've seen everything up here. I guess I'll go find out. Whew. Oh, Mama. Oh, boy! Oh, there's something I can look at. My brother wasn't in Escape Pod 1 with us. Was he in 2 or 3? Was he able to board an Escape Pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not, allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Oh, Plume. I get it, that sucks. Whew, okay, um. What if I just, what if I just go for it? Nope! <laughs> what if I just go for it? What if I just manage to make it over to this little suction cup? Come on, come on. No. No, I'm begging, get into the suction cup. Ah! <laughs> yeah, this is, bad. this is bad timing, huh? All right, well, at least let me go check this thing out. At least let me go see what's going on here. Feels like this is important. Okay, here we go. What's in here? Yeah, baby! Woo! It all worked out. Oh, there we go. I got some gravity now. I got some ding-dang gravity now. Okay, let's read some stuff. White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Huh, okay. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. Alright, that's pretty nice. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Interesting. 
F during this alignment to be warped. Okay. So it's not aligned right now. Huh. Okay. Seems like I found one of the things. I gotta find another orb, maybe? Oh wait, no, am I good? Is this where I'm supposed to be standing? Whoa! <laughs> yep, turns out that's where I was supposed to be standing. <laughs> yeah, fuel, fuel level's not doing so hot right now. I think I would like to have some fuel again. Right after I read some things. <sighs> okay. That's good to know. Good to know that I can get back sometimes. Here we go. Feldspar's spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to ship uh, to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I do too use it, Hornfells, you burnt marshmallow. <laughs> and the Scouts Integrity reading said this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows? If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I hope, I'm sure you got bigger problems. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, interesting. Okay. Hanging City is directly below. Huh. Oh, but I can't go into it, huh. That's, that's unfortunate. That kind of sucks. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from Whitehole Station on our other side of Brittle Hollow's black hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do this. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would be they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to Whitehole Station. If uh, you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Kasava. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Interesting. Scroll does not fit. Oh, hello. Some things are getting destroyed all around me. All right. Still haven't found out how to get back into the other station, which is kind of a shame. But we'll see. Right now I'm just doing a really good job of exploring Brittle Hollow in general. There we go. The phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky. Your thoughts interest me. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend? Uh, this moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eye. Huh. Okay. The nights when the moon circles this planet appear random. It travels as it likes. <sighs> hmm. Okay, interesting. <sighs> Alright, okay. So, another moon can sometimes be around this place. That's good to know. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Are there any other ruins here? Seems like the the, sh the whole dang uh, sun's about to explode. Whoops. There we go. All right. Still haven't found, still haven't found the secret of this place. Are you the moon? What is that? What is that? Let me go look at that. Hey, let me go look at that, please. Hey, do you mind if I look at that? You there. Oh, that's the dark bramble. Okay. Well. I guess I could just go try to look at the dark bramble for a second. 
Although I guess we're also done with our our stream for the day. This is basically it. Um, I think it's it might be time for me to high intensity bike and then and then call it. Whoops! Hmm. Whoops! Hmm. Whoops! Hmm. Whoops! Hmm. Whoops! Hmm. Whoops! <laughs> yeah, that's a good that's a good place for us to stop for the day. That's a good place for us to be done. That seems like a good place for us to be done for the day. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. High intensity. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, I still got to make this. Haven't done much work on this yet. I've had to think about the next, uh, the next video. And I have to get that done first. Not first, but at least at some point. You know what I'm saying? At least at some point. Whew. Oh man. Oh boy. This sure sure is a tough game. But it's a fun one. Congratulations. Oh, Mamma Mia. Whew. Folks. This has been a good session today. This game is interesting. I'm excited. Ugh. I think I'll probably play through this and then probably go right into Echoes of the Eye, too. Apparently that's scary, though. Which could be pretty fun to play, though. Oh. Let's take a look. Let's see how our, our Pikmin are doing. Yes! I grew a purple Pikmin. Oh, look at this sweet lad. Look at this sweet lad. I've really done it. Thank you a concerning amount of bees for subscribing. Whew. Show me the perp. Karen wants to see the purple Show me lad. The perp. There he is. Oh my god. He's so sweet. He's so cute. He's very cute. Oh my god. All right, folks. I will see you tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. Pacific time for more Outer Wilds. Enjoy your Wednesday. Goodbye.